The Australian gold rush of the 19th century stands as a pivotal chapter in the nation's history, shaping its economy, society, and identity. Spanning from the 1850s to the early 20th century, this transformative period saw a massive influx of prospectors and immigrants drawn by the allure of wealth and opportunity. In this narrative, we explore the origins, impact, and legacy of the Australian gold rush, tracing its roots from the discovery of gold to its enduring legacy in the nation's cultural fabric. The story of the Australian gold rush begins with the discovery of gold in New South Wales in 1851. Edward Hargraves, a British immigrant and prospector, is credited with finding gold near Bathurst, sparking a frenzy of excitement and speculation. News of the discovery spread like wildfire, attracting thousands of fortune seekers from around the world to the fledgling colony. Soon after, gold deposits were unearthed in Victoria, particularly in the region around Ballarat and Bendigo. These discoveries proved even more lucrative, leading to an unprecedented influx of miners, known as diggers, to the gold fields. Men and women from diverse backgrounds and nationalities flocked to the diggings, driven by dreams of striking it rich and escaping poverty or hardship. The gold rush boom transformed the Australian colonies virtually overnight, fueling rapid population growth, urbanization, and economic expansion. Towns and settlements sprang up around the goldfields, bustling with activity as miners and entrepreneurs sought their fortunes. Canvas tents gave way to ramshackle huts and bustling streets lined with makeshift shops and taverns. The gold rush brought a diverse array of people to Australia, including Chinese immigrants, who played a significant role in the mining industry. Drawn by the promise of wealth and opportunity, thousands of Chinese miners arrived in Victoria, establishing their own communities and mining operations. However, they also faced discrimination and hostility from European settlers, leading to tensions and conflicts on the goldfields. Life on the goldfields was harsh and challenging, marked by backbreaking labor, harsh living conditions, and constant uncertainty. Miners toiled long hours in search of gold, using simple tools such as pans, cradles, and sluice boxes to extract the precious metal from the earth. Competition was fierce, and fortunes could be made or lost in an instant. Living conditions on the goldfields were often squalid, with miners residing in overcrowded tents or makeshift shanties. Sanitation was poor, and disease was rampant, leading to outbreaks of cholera, dysentery, and other illnesses. Lawlessness was also prevalent, with disputes over mining claims often escalating into violence or legal battles. Despite the hardships, the goldfields were also a melting pot of cultures and communities, fostering a sense of camaraderie and solidarity among miners. Multiculturalism flourished, with individuals from different backgrounds coming together in pursuit of a common goal. In many ways, the goldfields represented a microcosm of Australian society, reflecting the nation's rich tapestry of diversity and resilience. The Australian gold rush had far-reaching implications for the nation's society, economy, and politics. The influx of wealth from gold exports fueled unprecedented economic growth, driving infrastructure development and industrialization. Railways were constructed, ports expanded, and new industries emerged to support the burgeoning population. The gold rush also played a significant role in shaping Australia's political landscape, paving the way for greater democracy and self-governance. The wealth generated by the goldfields enabled the colonies to assert greater autonomy from Britain, leading to the establishment of responsible government and the drafting of democratic constitutions. Socially, the gold rush era witnessed profound changes in Australian society, as traditional hierarchies were challenged, and new opportunities emerged for women, immigrants, and marginalized communities. Women played active roles in the goldfields, running businesses, providing essential services, and contributing to the local economy. Indigenous Australians, too, were drawn to the goldfields, although their contributions are often overlooked in historical accounts. The legacy of the Australian gold rush endures to this day, shaping the nation's cultural identity and collective memory. The image of the rugged, independent prospector remains a potent symbol of Australian resilience and resourcefulness, celebrated in literature, art, and popular culture. The gold rush also left a lasting imprint on the Australian landscape, with abandoned mines, ghost towns, and heritage sites serving as reminders of the nation's mining heritage. Many of these sites have been preserved and protected as part of Australia's cultural heritage, attracting tourists and visitors from around the world. Economically, the gold rush laid the foundations for Australia's modern prosperity, helping to establish the country as one of the world's leading producers of gold and other minerals.
The wealth generated by the goldfields funded infrastructure projects, education, and public services, contributing to Australia's emergence as a wealthy and developed nation. The Australian gold rush of the 19th century was a defining moment in the nation's history, transforming a fledgling colony into a thriving, multicultural society. From the humble beginnings of Edward Hargrave's discovery to the bustling goldfields of Victoria and beyond, the gold rush era left an indelible mark on the Australian landscape and collective consciousness. Though the heyday of the gold rush has long since passed, its legacy lives on in the stories of fortune seekers and pioneers who braved the unknown in pursuit of a dream. Today, the spirit of the gold rush endures in the resilient, entrepreneurial spirit of the Australian people, reminding us of the power of perseverance, ingenuity, and hope in the face of adversity.